See, Ricky said, never let nobody get the one up on you. If they run up on you, hit them with a one, two. I'ma put my heart on nice, heart on nice. Getting the best of me. Yeah, who the man, you the man, who the man. I do not talk to no middleman. Confused that you spending a ceiling fan. My success in my. Oh, I didn't see y'all there. What's up? What's five there? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Oh. Welcome back to another video. Now, today's video, we got a story time. That's gonna be my first fight you did now. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover, okay? I'm definitely a lover, but you know, I did get into a few squabbles. Now, let me give you a backstory on me and fighting, you know what I'm saying? Me and my cousin, we used to slap box and stuff like that all the time. I remember this one time, I have my older cousin, right? He was kind of big, big and, you know, big and strong, right? And, um, you know, we were slap boxing. I got him a good time, you know what I'm saying? And then he felt it. He felt he felt that I got him. And then he hit me one good time and knocked me on the floor. Like, I was gone. I was out of there. But then he was like, the heart. And ever since that moment, I knew I was a fighter. Get it. Go. Smooth. Okay, look, let me tell you how this started, man. It all started in the third grade, man. Woo, good times. Now, let me tell you about the third grade. Third grade, I had this teacher. Now, she was bad. She was young, legs. She just looked so good, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like, dang, this is my teacher? Like, you know how usually teachers be looking old? Teachers be looking like, you know, like, they like in their 50s, 60s, you know what I'm saying? But she was, she looked like she was in her 20s. Nice legs, everything young, everything silk. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she looked good. But um, she's gonna play a big role in this story coming soon. And I think it was the fact that she was young why this happened. All right, third grade, man. Uh, I'm doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I'm swaggy, you know what I'm saying? I'm you know, I'm just, I'm just doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? So I had this dude. He was my friend. Just moved new to the school, and then I became friends with him. He was this big, tall white dude. You know, big and tall white dude. And you know, we became friends. We bonded over wrestling. Now, the first time I ever watched wrestling, the WWE was. Now they had Batista. And Like SmackDown and with the fist and everything, like you know what I'm saying. So like, I knew all of that, and he was, you know, he was hit to it, and then we. That's how we bonded. You know what I'm saying? That's how we. That's the things that we used that we bonded with, and then it became this thing. So in WWE, if y'all don't know much about it, there was these two people named Shawn Michaels and Triple H, right? They had this group called D Generation X. I love Shawn Michaels. He loved Triple H. So like, we was like, okay, we're gonna go around the third grade, and that's gonna be our persona. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be, that's gonna be that's gonna be who we are. So um, he was Triple H, I was Shawn Michaels. So and they had the group called DX, and they would go around, you know, doing this. So that's what we would do in the school. You know, recess come, that's what we we would do. You know what I'm saying? We would go outside and we would be that. You know, we would be them dudes. You know what I'm saying? We was cool with it. Everybody was cool with us. Like we was like one of them cool boys. You know what I'm saying? Like the cool kids that he says, and other ones is kicking it. You know what I'm saying? That's how we bonded. You know, <laughs> we had the action figures. We was, we used to trade action figures and stuff like that. Like it was real deep, real deep. Um, so yeah, we are the bestest friends. We got the championship belts. We doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? So um, we real cool. We real tight. I guess he was a little bit of a bad influence on me because. I ain't gonna lie, we were getting a lot of trouble together, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> now, um, there's this thing that D Generation X used to do. Now, this is how the whole real trouble started. They used, they used to do this thing where they would go like this and be like this. You know what I'm saying? So, me being little and not understanding what that meant. Got me in a lot of trouble, so. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> the teacher that I was talking about, I was in the bathroom, and I guess the bathroom is two sides the girl's side and the boy's side, and you go like this, and it's inside. Yeah, and there's a mirror right here, so. I was doing this, I was just doing this in the mirror. <laughs> For no reason, bruh. <laughs> 
And then she, the teacher saw me and she was like, Eric, can I talk to you? I was like, okay. I went over there. She was like, do you know what that sign that you just did means? And I was like, nah, what does it mean? She was, she was like, you mean something bad? Don't do it again. I was like, I don't give a fuck. Okay. I didn't really listen because I'm like, that's my brand. You know, that's what I do. Like, you think I'm gonna start doing that? Hell no. So, you know, time and time goes on. And, you know, we doing it at recess. We doing it at recess. We just going on like, <laughs> doing it at recess, you know? And somebody snitched and then they sent uh, both of us, cause we were both doing it together. They sent both of us to the principal's office. Our principal, now I guess this was recess. So after that we had like, it, I don't know what happened, but it was PE time. I remember it was PE time and we was in the principal's office at that time. So the principal goes, okay, y'all, what did y'all do? What sign did y'all do? And then, this is what you did. <laughs> and she was like, okay, don't do it again. And then we left. She let us off with like a warning. She was like, don't do it again. So we came, I came back to PE feeling like a man. Me and my partner, we was feeling like the cool kids. You know what I'm saying? We was just walking like, you know, doing our stuff. They're like, why are y'all late? Where y'all coming from? Shoot. Came from the principal's office. That's all it is. <laughs> and I was like, wow, what do you do? I was like, don't even worry about it. <laughs> don't even worry about it. But yeah, here comes the juicy part. So, really, I know my friend, right? He always gets into a lot of trouble. He always messes with a lot of females and, you know, We'll like really do things to aggravate them. And I knew it. This is one specific girl that he would mess with all the time. You know what I'm saying? And this is where our friendship changed. I knew that he would do that stuff. I didn't used to do that stuff. I, I was like, hey, I'm not about to mess with nobody. I'm not about to do none of that. I knew that he does, that, that was the type of stuff he was on. He was on that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, um, remember the, uh, you know, my sexy teacher, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it would be time to, you know, get in the circle and read. You know, she would read to us. You know, like, y'all remember them Junie B. Uh, Jones books type of stuff? Goosebumps, uh, Magic Tree House, all that type. Like, it was that type of vibe where you would come in the circle and she would read those type of books to you. You know what I'm saying? So, that was, it was about that time for us to do it. And then, before we even started, she stopped the whole class. She stopped the whole class and was like, Eric, did... Did your friend do that to that girl? He, she asked me in front of the whole class. She said, Eric, did he mess with that girl again? She asked me in front of the whole class. Now everybody is just literally staring at me. And I'm just looking at, I'm just, and my friend is, my, we have, we're in the same class. My friend is sitting right there looking at me too. And then she asking me about him, what did he do? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, why would you ask me that? You know what I'm saying? So at first I'm just like, I'm shocked because I'm like, now I'm put on the spot in front of everybody when we about to read Junie B. Jones. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, what's going on? And so she was like, Eric, you won't get in trouble if you tell the truth. If you lie, you're going to go down with him. I said, hold up. I was like, for one, I didn't even do what he did. Why don't you just ask him? You know what I'm saying? But in my mind, I wasn't, I was a kid. I wasn't registered. I was, she asking me in front of the whole class. I'm just looking like this. And she was like, did he do it? Did he do it? Did he do it? So I'm just like, I don't want to rat on my friend. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no snitch. You just like 6 9 bro. No, I'm not. I was like, I ain't no snitch. I don't want to do that to him. And then, 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 then this is the funny thing. This is what she brings up. I know y'all was doing that sign when I was told y'all not to do it. Y'all was doing it anyway. So I'm pretty sure he messed with her, right? Tell the truth, Eric. Tell the truth. I was just like, why? Like for one, why couldn't you just pull me to the side and toss me? Why are you doing me like this in front of everybody? Everybody just looking at me like. I'm just like, what's going on? You know, so, so I'm sitting there. I don't want to rat on him, but then I don't want to go down myself. I ain't trying to go down myself like that. I ain't trying to go down that path with him. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, because I know he did it though. So I was just like, he did that. And then, bruh, the look on my man's face when I said that, he was just like this. I'm 
I'm just looking at him like, and he over here like, I'm just like, what's going on? I was like, damn, just write it down. He ain't messing with me no more. So he went to the office. Now I didn't see him again until like field day. Field day is like at the end of the year where everybody like goes and like you're on the same team you have like different colored shirts and y'all do like events and stuff like that for fun like at the end of the school year thing yeah he um he was there and he was looking at me like he want to smoke so i said you know what i gotta do what i gotta do if you want if you want, if you want the smoke who want the smoke who want the smoke who want the who want the who want the I was over there, we was posted up, we was about to, we got to get it popping. We started getting popping. I told one good one, he told one good one, and we just going at it. Pow, pow, pow. And he bear hugged me and threw me on the floor. We started rolling around, we started rolling around, and I was getting active. You know, I was getting active, so I was like, Ugh. I got back up, I was trying to kick him, and then he grabbed my foot and Watch threw this. me down. He bigger than me. And so he was just like, I was getting my ass beat. Got up and then we was just rolling on the floor and then some some people uh, told the, the principal that we was fighting and then I guess the principal knew what it was about because she had to deal with him already so I didn't get in trouble at all it was him and then so I was just like dang I just got into my first fight so everybody was like dang what what happened what happened I was like I don't want to talk about it you know what I'm saying I don't want to talk about it and then um you know so it is what it is we got in a fight and that was the that's how we ended the school year. So, the next school year going on to fourth grade, right? I'm looking for the dude, because I have different classes, he's not in my class. So, usually when you go in the cafeteria, you see like all the students of you know the same grade as you. So I'm looking for him, I'm looking where he at. Monday pass, I ain't seen him. <laughs> I got my lunch and my lit, I did. Tuesday pass, I ain't seen him. Got my lunch and dip. Wednesday came, I ain't seen him. I got my bunch of dip. Thursday came. I ain't see him. Got my lunch and dip. I'm thinking I'm home free. I'm just like, hey. Ah. <laughs> you know, got my lunch and dip. Friday come. I think I'm home free. Got my lunch. Sat down, eating, enjoying, talking to my friends, doing all that. I look in the lunch line, here he come. He's standing on the lunch line looking right at me. I said, <laughs> oh, we about to, it's about to go down again. It's about to go down again. So usually after the cafeteria lunch, we have recess right after. So I'm like, we about to get it down our recess. We about to get it popping our recess. So he see me, I see him, I'm looking at him like, he looking at me like, then, this was the weirdest thing. All of a sudden, we became friends again, and we started chasing the, uh, 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 some little kid, and then he started running for his life. That's the end of the story. But I do have another story, kind of tying into that story about some females, about some girls, my first crush. Hilarious. But if you want to see that video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe for the next one, because we lit out you. If you like that story time, please tell me you loved it in the comment. Tell me. What was the funniest part? What was your favorite part? All of that. Tell me all of that. You know, we lit over here. You did. <laughs> Man, don't judge me about my hair or none of that. You know what I'm saying? We in a quarantine process. You feel me? We over here chilling in the house. Ain't got nothing to do. You feel me? Ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> Alright, man. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace.